Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Grass Beer Reviews today. We got another one of the White Birch. This is their Hop To It, which is a wit beer, a Belgian style wheat ale. And that's how they got Hop To Wit. Hop To It. Hop To It. So, uh, this is another one, like I said, I got a wine gourmet. This is another pricey one. This is a $6.50 beer for a 22 ounce bomber. So, uh, and like I said, uh, the date on this is June 2012. So, uh, uh, six point. It's 6.8%, uh, so it's almost 7%, so it may sell, or it's not recommended for extended salaring unless it exceeds the average range. Well, the average, it does exceed the average range, and it's a wheat beer. And here on the break beer site, it says it's 5.20, and they don't have a good picture of it, and this is definitely 6.8, so let's see what break beer says. They also, and it says 6.8 on this one. Uh, let me read what it says. Heat, humidity, lazy dog, and regrettable bathing suit. So it tells you this is a summertime beer, summertime release. So this beer should have been done four months ago anyway. Uh, we're going to get them out of the fridge. That's basically what we're doing here. Now the Lawn Warrior, the Frisbee Thrower, the Backwoods Trail, Hiker American Twist on Classic Summer Style, this flavorful Belgian style wit beer. It's packed with juicy hops for just the right kick. So go ahead, reset my his boss, and be right here waiting for you. I, I think this is, they, they don't pasteurize your beer. He did not say, our ales are unfiltered, unpasteurized, and traditionally made best served at 50 to 55. And that's it. Uh, 6.8, so the alcohol is definitely going to preserve it. Uh, you're not going to get any kind of, uh, any kind of bad taste, I would think, off of this. Uh, other than being a hot to it, hop forward beer. That's what you're going to lose on this one, guys. They're out of New Hampshire. Uh, food pairings for this one. The cheeses are the peppery, the moderated, pepper jack, uh, sharp, your brick, edam, feta, and the uh, meat for this is fish and shellfish. Boy, I tell you what. Man, well, there's a whole lot of stuff in the bottom of that. Of course, a lot of the Belgian styles will have that. I was just impressed I didn't get any. Not much carbonation in there. I mean, there's just a little bit, but not very carbonated, guys, at all. And it is almost to the macro lager color. Very pale, very, very faint yellow. Almost looks like yellow fizzy water. I hope it's not. But there is some stuff floating around in this beer, no doubt about it. Got some junk in the trunk. So like I said, these beers, this beer should have been done a long, a long ago. And I would not sell this beer. Definitely you can smell the wheat in this beer. Uh, but I'm not giving a lot of hot presents right on the nose. Like a, it's all faded by now. Citrusy, lemony, bready. Smells okay. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Very light. Very easy drinking. Very sessionable. Very lawnmower moorish. But I should say snowblower-ish. This is a beer you want to drink in the summertime when it's nice and hot outside. I mean, you've been out there and you're sweating. This is uh, this is uh, right out of the fridge. They're saying 50 to 55. I would if in the summertime, I would I like my beers like this and let them warm up. They're going to get warm if they're if you're if you're outside and it's 90 degrees. You pull it out of the fridge at 40, it ain't going to be long where it's 50, 55. Maybe a sip or two, and then it's going to get up there. So depends on if you're gulping it or you're sipping it. 
if you're gulping a 6.8% beer, you can be doing much, much lawn mowing, uh, uh, mowing lawns after you drink two or three of them, that's for sure. Especially this size. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, it's not worth what I paid for it. It's not that good. And it should have been done four months ago instead of now. Maybe even five months ago. So, guys, uh, I probably shouldn't grade it as harsh as I am because it's my fault that I bought it so late. But it was on the shelf. What's everybody going to do? We're just going to let it sit there and sit there and sit there. Somebody's going to have to buy it eventually. Give me some comments back on that. What do you think we should do when we see something that's been on the shelf for six months? Should we go to the owner and tell them? Should we just not buy them and tell them the reason why we're not buying them? What should we do in this case? Give me some comments back on this one, guys. This is right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. We're going to let the other half taste it like I always do. She's probably going to get the other half of this. And then I'll tell you whether it was cl more cloudier than what you see here. I can pretty damn much guarantee you it's going to be. So uh, stick around. We'll see where this one ends up. But I'm not impressed. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. Maybe just a little bit more than a little left. A little citrusy, a little lemony. Definitely get the weed in there. But there's so much has faded since this. This should have been had by if it was put in here in June. You should have had this by uh, July, September, no, August or September to latest. So here we are in January. This is really it's really bad to be even trying to uh, review this beer this old. So final show. For the 650 that the sticker price is on it, I would not pay for that that much for this again. Uh, if I see it again next spring, and I may re-review it and, and see what it's about, but not impressing me here, and, and I don't want to be too harsh, but I have read some of the reviews, and they're not very favorable there either. So guys, with that being said, this, this was not impressive whatsoever. The one I had yesterday was better than this one, even though it's a lower ABV. So I'm going to give it a 4. Even though it's got the date on it, this needs to be this needs to be had within a month or two, no later than three than when it was put in the bottle. And I won't be buying any more of these beers this year. Uh, I've made that commitment that we're going to we're going to stick to that as much as we can. Now there are some in the fridges down there that you're probably going to see me cleaning out, and they don't have the dates on them. But hopefully the beer run videos won't have any of these old beers in it anymore. So, with that being said, uh, I'm going to stick with that and beer avid. Beer Advocate comes up with the NA on this. Uh, let's see here. Hop to it is NA. Not enough ratings for them to give a uh, rating on it. And uh, Rate Beer has 62 overall and 78 in the style. So those numbers aren't, aren't impressing me. And what I've drank tonight hasn't impressed me. So if y'all have had this guy's fresh. Give me some comments back on this one. Uh, I know Jeff up there, uh, Jeff Lyons, might be uh, might be uh, a good candidate to give me some comments back on this and whether he's liked it uh, or, or had it. Uh, and he's up in that neck of the woods. So, Jeff, if you're watching this, give me some comments back on this and what you think of it, if you've had it fresh. And all my subs there, if y'all have had this one, give me some comments back on this one. And we're going to try to probably get the last one out of there tomorrow or the next day, and uh, we'll see where that goes. So, join us tomorrow and see what the last one brings. See you then.